VS Code supports searching through notebooks, much like you can search through normal text editors. You can also control what sections of the notebook are going to be included in the search results. Let's take a look at this in this Jupyter Notebook. So here's a basic Jupyter Notebook. You can see I have a rendered markdown cell, a code cell, and then some output from that code cell. To start a search, I'm going to press Control F or Command F, standard keyboard shortcut for that, and it opens up the standard search widget up here. So I'll type in my search term, say hello, and now VS Code is telling us that there are three search results up here. If we actually look at this, you can see that two of these are highlighted. And then if I go and I hit the arrow icon, it will go and navigate into that markdown cell and go and highlight the other occurrence. So it's actually searching through the markdown content. It is just not displaying that by default in the rendered markdown. Now, a few things to note about this. The first is that you'll notice that the hellos down here are actually not being highlighted. That is because it is currently not searching through cell output. It's only searching through code cells and markdown cells. The other thing is that we had to go into the editing mode for the markdown cell to actually see the result. And we can actually use filters to control both of these. So I'm going to put the markdown back into render mode. And now I'm going to go to my find widget up here and go to the little filter icon over here. So the first one we'll take a look at is going and searching through cell output. So if we want the cell output to also be included in search, go to the filter icon up here and make sure that cell output is also checked. Now you can see that VS Code is also including the cell output inside the search results. So now these ones are being highlighted. Now this might not always be what you want because it can sometimes include a lot of false positives when it's searching through lengthy cell outputs, but it is quite helpful in this case. The second option we can take a look at in the filters here is that I can, instead of searching the markdown source, have it search the rendered markdown. So when I turn it on to search the rendered markdown, notice how it's now highlighting the rendered markdown here instead of only highlighting in the source. That might be more helpful for quickly identifying where search results are occurring. Only having search go through the rendered markdown also means that when I'm navigating through the search results using the arrows, it won't put the cell into edit mode automatically. It's going to stay in that rendered mode. Notebook search is invaluable for quickly finding the content that you're after. And if you're not seeing the expected results, try changing some of the filters to search through the output or through the rendered markdown. So that's a quick introduction to notebook search in VS Code.